Right now, 690,000 Australians are living with severe or complex mental illness, such as bipolar disorder, eating disorders, major depressive disorder, schizophrenia and post-traumatic stress disorder. So for every one of these people, there are at least five other people who are directly affected, whether it's family, friends or work colleagues. That equates to approximately four million people who are dealing with the challenges of complex mental illness. For 30 years, SANE Australia has been working with people to reduce stigma and pull down the barriers that prevent people from speaking up and getting the help that they need. People with complex mental illness are employed within all levels of organisations. We need to increase understanding in our workplaces so that we can create environments that are healthier and better for all. Best practice leads us to three key things we need to be addressing in our workplaces. Reducing stigma, strong leadership, and understanding how to deal with a mental health crisis. Workplaces need to ensure that they are reducing stigma at every point in the employment cycle. Pre-employment, we need to be ensuring that we're not screening out people from work unnecessarily. If someone discloses they're living with a mental health condition, we need to be asking, how might we be able to support you in the workplace? When we're at work, it's really important that we work with someone if they're experiencing a mental illness. Nicole, one of our speakers, tells us that when she was diagnosed with a mental illness, she had a great supervisor and she started talking to somebody outside of the workplace about her mental health condition and was making great progress. 